My name is Kevin Sprecher. I'm the Director of Instruction at Sleepy Hollow Country Club in New York. Uh, I'm a Swing Catalyst Ambassador and I've been using the system for several years and it's an invaluable tool because it shows me things that I can't see on video. Here I've got a good player who's struggling with direction control. He keeps hitting it left or right. Uh, and when he starts out at address, let me go to this video actually. So he starts out at address, he, he starts with too much weight on his right side or too much pressure, about 55%. Um, and it really helps him to see the numbers. He's got a monitor here on the floor so he can see the numbers with this. And what he, what he struggles with and what the swing cat really helps me with is he struggles with moving his body laterally too much. So he changes his pressure, and I think pressure change is important in the golf swing because it helps us move our body and move it, get more rotation in our swing. And when he moves, he moves a little too much into his right side. So um, when I assessed him using the, the bio-swing bio dynamics assessment, he's a, a front post golfer. So Luke's actually designed to turn around his, his left hip more. And when he gets too laterally, it's hard for him to turn. So in his backswing, he shifts into his right hip a little bit too much, his, his weight, which puts it, but that's how he gets his pressure on his right side. And then he's got to move laterally to this side, but by the time he gets to a point where he can turn, where his left leg's kind of lined up, it's too late, so he kind of slides through it and saves it with his hands. And it's difficult for Luke to, look, to move pressure right and left without moving weight. And I think there's a difference. If the center of mass of your body, which is your pelvis, moves right and left, that'll also move pressure right and left. But I want Luke's center of mass to stay more centered, but I still want pressure to get onto his right side. I don't want him leaning left. So in this video, we discussed that. We got him to start a little bit more left with his weight, which he can feel now. And what he's trying to do is keep his center of mass more centered but still put pressure on his right side. And this is where he struggled a little bit. So here, here you can see he keeps his pelvis a little bit more centered, but he doesn't get the pressure on his right side. We wanna see max pressure here. He doesn't get max pressure until he tries to push off, so it's late. So he was struggling with feeling that. He could obviously see it, but seeing the numbers on the swing cat really helped him. So as we progressed, we worked a little bit more on trying to feel his center of mass staying in the middle and still trying to get more pressure. He still he gets, gets a little bit better there. We're doing some slow swings. You know, so you can see his swing's pretty good, but he still can't get it. So what I did was I came in here and I applied some, some force to him. I tried to push him to the right so he can feel what it's like to put pressure on his right side early. And again, seeing the graphic really helped him learn that. So at left arm parallel, he was at max pressure. Now he's resisting me, but this gave him the feeling of what we want to do and how we want to feel. So then I had him swing. And again, he, he's, now he's able to feel what it's like to be a little bit more on his left. And he uses the numbers to confirm what he feels. He's able to f stay a little bit more centered with his pelvis. This is him exaggerating it. Now you can see he got much more pressure early, so he's still learning how to do it, but he's not moving to the right so much, and then he's able to get through it better. So we had to slow things down a little bit and really exaggerate for him to feel it, and as we progressed along, he eventually got it to where he was able to get more pressure on his right side by pressing down on his right foot by the time his left arm got parallel and then he was able to rotate through the shot better and improve his ball striking abilities. So without, without being able to see what he's feeling on the ground, it made it real difficult for Luke to improve. So the swing cat was invaluable being able to see what he's feeling and he learned it a lot faster. 